What's going on guys? It's Michael from 3D Print Everything again. And just wanted to do another update video today. See what uh, we got going today. Can kind of continue from some of the other updates I was doing the other days. Um, so I started this and was like, you know what? I want to get these printers moving before I start this video. So I, so I paused it for a second and started starting the printers. And then I was like, you know what? Part of the satisfaction of 3D printing is removing these prints. So I want to show you what a satisfaction of production is kind of like. So we've been producing lots of parts. This is part of a big order. And uh, man, it's hard to do this one-handed. I need to film it. But taking these parts off right here like this is so satisfying. It is really, really nice to be able to, uh, you know, just be able to grab this. And, and even right there, that little bit, that doesn't matter. It can print over a, a skirt once again. It's not going to hurt the part. Let's see. Let's get this one. So look at this. We can do this one-handed. Nice. All right. Press a button, 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 boom, next print started, next print started, next print started, press a button, press a button, press a button, press a button, next print started. That one's starting, stick this one off up here, down in there, start, start, okay, and we can see over here these guys. Getting their first layer. These guys moving now. Those guys moving. We got we got another one coming for that spot today. Uh, that guy just started. Those two will start soon. Got our ten log doing these. Uh, this is an air compressor filter. So it'll be two halves. We'll remove the supports out of this. They'll butt up to each other and bolt together, and uh, that'll be kind of like an air oil separator. Uh, for an air compressor so that's neat this guy's still broken waiting on response from tin log i've been kind of going back and forth with them but i haven't been able to get an updated firmware um belt printer it's doing great um so far it's just producing nice consistent prints uh prints there let me get this guy going Oh, sometimes the screen does this. This is the unfortunate price of uh, trying to work with a new company, a brand new printer that they came out with. And I've had other companies even have this problem. It generally has to do with the wiring of the screen from what I've seen. But you can just do a quick restart and it works. So it's not too much of an inconvenience for someone like me who's just like, hey, you know, that printer honestly has been sitting for probably six to eight months not being used and when this job came along it's like okay we got to get all printers on deck so uh honestly it kind of hurts having this printer right here not moving because this is enough space to fit two printers and if i was using these king runes i could probably fit four right there and uh, four would definitely outproduce you know zero even one would obviously this guy's doing our air filter as well thermal runaway what oh uh, I know when the fan kicked on okay so this is a problem that some of you might run into as a general daily update you see this I have a J style nozzle right now anybody that gets into customizing their printer and and doing changes um, if you add a J style nozzle and I've got this style part cooler so this style part cooler is a bit higher than the nozzle ideally you would want this part cooler at about the nozzle height um, I like this for clearance sake. If you ever get anything peeling, you're really not going to tear that up. But uh, what happens is, is when this fan kicks on, we're now cooling off the uh, heat break there. So that fan's going to cool off the heat break, and that's not ideal. And then the, the heater can't keep up with it. So what we got to do is put our little sock on there. So you put your little sock on, and uh, that air then won't cool off the heat break, and you're able to, uh, to print that properly. This guy's doing a print. Looks like it needs a little bit better leveling on this corner here. Jeez. It's not good at all. I'm making an adjustment from the bottom here. See, with this one, I added a rod in the center so that I could adjust the center. But, uh, yeah. 
this one's running well. Um, now, if it seems weird there, I don't, uh, I'm not a big editor. I don't have good YouTube video editing skills. Um, I'm here in North Texas. If you know anybody that is aspiring to be a YouTube editor or, want, or likes editing video, wants to work together with me to make, you know, more compelling video, I would love that. Um, you know, I'm so busy just working this business. I really do have a passion for making video. I love talking. Um, I'd like to make good content. I just could use some help. You know, there's definitely, I know how to play strengths. And uh, I can find some of my strengths, but we gotta, uh, yeah, I gotta get this guy moving. He's not working on anything. Oh, look, glass broke. So, no matter what, this is a customer's printer repair. Kind of neat, a little flash forge here. If you've never seen a flash forge printer, I can kind of show you. You know, not too bad. Got a little enclosure. It's a small printer. If you're printing small parts, great. Uh, this one happens to be a dual head. And uh, they, pretty, they pretty much brought it to me exactly like this. I only took two bolts off. But uh, the nozzle's obviously screwed. Um, there's four bolts that hold that to the carriage. A um, little bit of melt there. But uh, the problem is that the wiring for the heat sink and the wiring for the hot end and the throat, all of it is messed up. So we're just gonna get a whole new hot end assembly is the uh, fix for that. It's like a $70 part. It's uh, e exclusive to just this printer. Um, so uh, yeah, it is nice. I like the, whoops, I like the, the touchless stops there. That's always a good touch. Although they got a touch stop there, I don't know why. I don't know why they do that. Why mix your your touch stops when you could just have them all be touchless, you know? Um, not bad otherwise, though. Yeah, you know, good, good, decent little printer. Yeah, you know, a lot of these enclosed printers, I think they, they overprice the enclosure. But um, you know, if you need an enclosure, if you're doing small, high temp parts, you know, this this would be perfect. Or if you're doing small parts that need removable supports. That would be, you know, an ideal setup. Um, you know, not bad. I'm looking into buying, partnering with uh, Mosaic and getting one of their high temp uh, printers. They've got a pretty competitive uh, high temp printer priced retail at 10 grand. And they offered me a, a wholesale demo one by partnering with them to resell it at a, uh, at a much cheaper price. So uh, I'm really compelled to do that. I'm hoping that the profits from this will allow me to grab one of those and start reselling them. That would be, uh, that would be really cool. So we're going to go ahead and heat this guy back up. But yeah, if you've got anything else that you'd like me to do a YouTube video on, if you can think of anything, definitely comment. You can find me on Facebook. My phone number's out there. 3D Print Everything. You can easily Google and find it. Feel free to call me. I've had a handful of y'all. Uh, viewers who've called me, you know who you are if you're watching this video. I appreciate it. Thanks. Um, people getting in contact me, contact with me has helped me want to make more videos. So, so the more people I get bugging me, the more often I want to make videos. You know, I, I know I see some of the some of the big guys that uh, I love watching regularly on YouTube, and they're having 10 and 15 people just show up at their house just because they want to meet them. And, uh, you, you know, hopefully we can get there one day. And if you want to see me get that big and to the point of needing to get a much bigger, more professional shop. And hopefully I, my, my goal is to host uh, like multiple meetings a month where lots of you can come. You can see, buy a printer, get a printer, do a class on printing, check out what other people are making, see unique stuff. Um, so if you want to see that, like, comment, subscribe, you know, share this with your buddies, post it on Facebook. Um, it really helps out and then uh, yeah you know just just share the word about 3d printing it's it's really really fun we can constantly do new and different things so uh, yeah guys I'm excited I want to build some 3d printed houses if you want to see that coming in the future if you want to see this this little garage setup of an individual guy just making trinkets turning into business deals turning into 3d printed houses then definitely share this around let's get this YouTube uh, you know, off the ground, it can really help accelerate this business, and I know y'all can, y'all want to see that, and, and would love to help me out with that. So thanks, guys. Talk to you soon.